Hi everyone, I'm Lillian. And I'm Felipe. We are the postmodern family. We are Americans living in this country, the UK, living a traditional life. We make three new videos every week, so we encourage you to subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Today we're going to react to the trailer for the movie Unplanned in theaters March 29th. Which is unlikely to show in the UK, I would imagine. <laughs> yes, it's showing in America starting in March 29th. All right, before we watch this. Okay. For our UK viewers who might not know what Planned Parenthood is. Oh, yeah. This is all about Planned Parenthood. There was a... Wait, yeah, let me explain what it is because okay. I don't think you'll capture it properly. Okay. As you know, there is no NHS in the U.S. Um, you don't have to leave your comments and about how that is terrible or inhumane. But there isn't. It's, uh, medicine is privatized. So there are all kinds of private companies that provide different services, whether it be insurance or medical services. And one of those companies that provides services for women specifically is called Planned Parenthood. And it was created in the early 20th century uh, by a woman named Margaret Sanger. Sanger, Margaret Sanger. And she was a renowned, uh, let's say, uh, eugenics advocate, which means that she proposed that certain kind, certain um, races. Uh, races or groups of humans who have genetic deficiencies should be phased out and not procreate. So to promote that theory and that ideology, she set up this service for uh, aborting, let's say, aborting children from that undesired race. But before abortion, she was a high, a major proponent of um, birth control, mm -hmm. um, using the birth control pill specifically, mm -hmm. and basically using chemical medicine to to sterilize. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So women. originally, the organization she created was about sterilizing. Uh, specific groups that she thought uh, shouldn't, shouldn't be procreate. shouldn't be procreating, so that became planned parenthood. Mm -hmm. That is to say, we shouldn't let people unintentionally, because they have wild desires and just want to have sex, become mm -hmm. parents. It should be a planned event. Mm -hmm. So you you sterilize yourself until you th you decide that you really do want to have children. Mm -hmm. So then that organization then became an organization that offered abortion when abortion became legal in the United States, I think in the Rosie 70s. Um, and so the scandal of it is that it isn't just a private organization, it receives government funding. So that's both at the state level and at the federal level. So there is a big national debate in the U.S. at the minute it has been going on for a number of years as but to whether heightened. tax as to whether taxpayer monies should go to uh, Planned Parenthood. Mm -hmm. It was heightened during the Trump election, during the 2016 presidential election, because Trump himself said he would defund Planned mm. Parenthood. Well, no. So, so, so Republicans have been saying for a long time that they would defund Planned Parenthood, uh, but it was just lip service to get people to vote for them and they mm. would never actually do it. And Trump may end up being similar in the same way, just mm. saying he would, but not actually doing it. So the tide has been turning in the US in terms of opinions on abortion. Unlike in, the we in Western Europe and the UK where, for example, in Ireland, abortion, which was not legal for a long time, was just made legal last year, I think. Mm -hmm. In the U.S., though it's been legal for many years, the opinions have been shifting towards uh, restricting it further and further. Um, and I think this movie has come out, with this movie, which is called Unplanned, um, has come out to sort of ride that wave a little bit and maybe grow it further. This film came out to help um, turn the last tide, hopefully, and, and change public opinion on abortion. Abby Johnson is in the other room. Here. Our first order of business is to present Planned Parenthood's Employee of the Year Award. Abby Johnson. There's a fire inside, you can feel this is Abby. She's our newest volunteer escort. Abby, this is Cheryl's Alessandro. It's a neon light glowing like I'd be the youngest director in Planned Parenthood history. You'll actually be in charge of the abortions at your clinic. I have a chance to make a real difference. No matter what you do for the rest of your life, you're still going to be a baby killer. Every new 
The only thing that's changed is you, Abby. Can you even hear yourself talk right now about these procedures? These are little babies. I'm not going to apologize for doing a job that helps women in crisis. There's still a part of me that isn't sure. I know. But the one thing that all experts agree on is that at this stage, the fetus can't feel anything. Sorry to bother you, but they need an extra person in the back room. Are you free? I saw it, and it was like it was twisting and fighting for its life. We commend the souls of these hundreds of children. And Lord, we pray to end abortion. I really appreciate what you've done for us. I'll not forget it. 22,000 abortions. How do I even comprehend that? Rough day at the office. You could say that. You're making a mess. <laughs> what are you doing? It's your dad and me. You are our baby from the moment of conception. We are paying you to be a perfect instrument of corporate policy. We are an abortion provider. I can't be a part of this anymore. Everything that they told us is a lie. Don't underestimate the repercussions of this. You gotta be careful. Rhonda, please don't do this! Rhonda! Let me tell you what's gonna happen if you walk through that door. Congratulations. You have made an enemy of one of the most powerful organizations on the planet. Okay, that's really interesting. So I like how um, before this main protagonist is uh, her transition and mm. discovery and whatever of what abortion looks like, mm -hmm. that she was saying the same things that we hear a lot, which is... Mm. Babies are just, they don't feel anything at a certain, whatever, mm. gestation. Or they're, they're not just, human beings. They're just a clump of cells. Yeah. Um, oh, and, and that Planned Parenthood is all for just supporting women. It's just mm -hmm. providing a service for women that mm. is essential to womanhood and um, personhood and should not be taken away. Um, mm. But then at the other side of it where they were saying that, oh, you've just threatened the biggest organization or something most powerful organization one of the I, most powerful organizations in the world i don't know if i don't know if that was a bit exaggerating do you think that's true it's possible that that person believed that who said that hmm. doesn't matter whether it's true or not and then also the way that they've portrayed the two women who lead planned parenthood hmm. as like these evil characters hmm. i don't know if it's i don't know maybe it is just as Okay, so is this just stream of consciousness? Do you have like a outline? Or? No, I don't have an outline. This okay. is always stream of consciousness. <laughs> so this main character woman, she was taught to say the right things before mm -hmm. when she was working as um, what are they called? Just working for Planned Parenthood. Mm -hmm. um, she was taught these things, but it's not like she really knew. So when she found out what it was really about, and that mm. babies like can feel and they can move and they have their own sort of consciousness in the womb, well, she, the, a level of consciousness. The initial moment of realization was when she heard the heartbeat in the ultrasound. I thought it was when she saw the in the sonogram the baby trying to move away. No, the sound was was maybe it wasn't coming out of your ear, but it was a, so, a oh. strong because it's stereo. That's the problem with this way of oh. doing it <laughs> is you could hear a strong heartbeat. Mm. And so recently, there's been legislation p being passed in the states, certain <clears throat> states saying that once you hear like, a heartbeat you're not allowed to have an abortion yeah and so uh, there's a lot of outcry right now from the feminists and mm -hmm. Planned Parenthood saying mm -hmm. you know how unfair like by the time you get a heartbeat which is like 21 days yeah uh, that's usually when women just find out that they're pregnant yeah um, I think it's just stunning how the people who would hear this debate about abortion they just regurgitate the same things in indignant resentment sort mm -hmm. of well, what is what do they it's it's her body it's a private choice mm -hmm. um it's none of my business um and and if you think about it if you think about i wonder if back in 1930s germany whether germans were saying similar things about the jewish people mm -hmm. they were saying well 
um, they're not human. Well, it's a it's a personal, it's a choice that we're able, the the dehumanizing of the thing. I wonder if that pattern is is analogous and present both in both experiences. And what you end up doing is you end up more more than just persuading other people, you just persuade yourself, mm -hmm. because there's a dark sort of regret that is subvert, being subverted within every individual, I think, that, yeah. is prom that promotes abortion. Mm -hmm. And that dark secret, that dark regret, is silenced by the screams of, it's her choice, it's her body, um, yeah. so on. I mean, there is really, I don't know, there's no justification for the killing of a human being inside the womb of a, of a, of a mother, of a woman. And it becomes wrapped up into feminism, into the the, the so-called the so-called oppression of women, yeah. and so that women should have the choice, yeah, and yeah. The, the same freedoms as yeah. men, basically, because so men never get bogged down with the pregnancy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's there's it's her body, it's her choice. That's the one flank of resistance, mm -hmm. and the other flank of resistance is the sort of the defense from the extremely, extremely rare cases of um, incest, right, of rape, etc. So you have these rare, rare cases of mm -hmm. pregnancy by way of exploitation. Mm -hmm. And so they try to argue from those exceptional cases. conditions and extract a rule, mm -hmm. right? So it's like saying, but, but it's like saying, for example, that because when you go boating, when people have gone boating, some people drown. Mm -hmm. Well, then we should remove all boats and no mm -hmm. one should be allowed to go on a boat. Mm -hmm. Or because there are car accidents and people die, well, no one should be allowed on the road. Well, because people get, um, because babies are born under conditions of rape and those ought to be aborted, well, then all women under all conditions ought to be allowed. But people like Ben Shapiro and we agree that those children conceived in rape should deserve a chance to live. No, I know, I know, but I'm not going to I'm not going to you know wade into the debate about those specific children. I think mm -hmm. that's a whole nother topic. The point, the principle being that I'm just saying that's even weak. That no, argument's weak too. I know, I know that. I know that. But I'm saying that that argument is irrelevant whether it's weak or strong is completely irrelevant to the debate. Um, abortion, readily available abortion, regardless of condition and situation, is not warranted from the reality of rape uh, impregnation. There's no logical correlation to it. So, so anyway, as you can tell, we are very passionate and for um, life. Pro life. For life. Um, um, and I know the the pro life movement, as such, has certain connotations to it. Um, some people will say. The pro-life movement is all about the birth of babies, but it, it's all against socialized welfare state. So mm. once those Supporting babies are born, women. no one wants to take care of them. Those people who were for those babies are not at all for taking care of them. Um, we'll adopt your baby, yeah. please. Like, yeah. instead of killing your baby, could you just consider... Give, send, a, send us an email, whatever. <laughs> yeah, because... I don't know if we should talk about this, but I've had two miscarriages mm. and losing a baby is is devastating. And so yeah. there are so many people who are overflowing with love and desire for mm -hmm. children. And it's unimaginable that it's necessary to kill children, mm -hmm. to kill babies. Yeah. So also physically, mm. biologically, having a baby is not as like this death, uh, what is it called? I don't know. What do they call it when it's... Like death sentence? Uh, yeah. Life changing? Life threatening. It's mm. not as life threatening as they make it out to be. Mm. And in fact, um, there have been so many studies showing that if you have children and if you breastfeed, if you do these mm. natural functions that your body was made to do, you have lower risk of cervical cancer, um, breast mm. cancer, and etc. Mm. It's just because it's just the natural way your your body was created, and mm. if you stop it in the process, it's it's funny that the the creation effect. of life has life giving and life extending consequences to the mother. Mm -hmm. It's 
It's just an insane. We are living in an age of psychosis and death culture. And a hundred years from now, people will look back and think, just as we look back at the Holocaust, at the death camps, that thousands of children are, di are, di are murdered every day. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, you can leave your comments. Uh, I'm not going to debate. It's her choice. Like if you leave your comment and says it's her choice, it's private, etc. No, uh, don't leave that. We're comment. gonna. We're not going to debate that no. on this. And um, I don't think it's wise if you guys start to debate each other in the comments. Yeah. It's not for that. I think it's just interesting also to see that this film has come out in the U.S. Um, it's being screened at the White House. Um, but if anyone knows whether it's actually blocked in the UK, I don't know. I'm just guessing. I don't think it's going to come to the UK. That's the feeling that I have is yeah. that there wouldn't be an audience for it. I mean, the, the debate right now is is hot in America because mm -hmm. it's about Planned Parenthood. Yeah. They don't have Planned Parenthood here, so I don't know why they would even try mm -hmm. to air it here. They we would try to air it just because this is an example of an individual changing her view mm -hmm. from being at the pinnacle of abortion service providers to against it. And this is a true story, mm. by the way. So would you see this movie? I would definitely see this movie. Yeah. I would love to see this movie. Where can I see this movie? I'm living in the UK. <laughs> Me too. I would see it. Um, I, we I would show it to everyone. If I had a DVD, I would invite everyone to, I could, to come to see it. To do a it. screening of it in the yeah. UK. No, 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 in my house. Yeah. Yeah. We are in the UK. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> people won't be able to watch it, I think, unless mm -hmm. they're in the UK. Maybe what we'll do is we'll buy a copy in the US of the DVD mm -hmm. and bring it here. Yeah, but we might not be able to tell them everyone that we're doing that because I know. Of, like, it's copyright or whatever. Well, I'm not going to make money of it. I'm not going to make money. No, they don't care. It's like a, it's a, like just in like. Like North Korea, you can't you can't bring certain books or movies into the country. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment below. Let us know what you think. And support us. Do you want to see us. this? Do you want to see this movie here in the UK? Yeah. Why don't you leave that comment? Mm. Yeah. Or you can just be extremely offended and spew a bunch of crap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, check us out on patreon.com slash thepostmodernfamily to find out other ways you can support us and connect with us. And support us by becoming a patron at patreon.com I just said patron. Did you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and buy some t-shirts at teespring.com. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye.